Can you give me a cheer if you're from Glasgow? Yeah. Good. Can you give me a cheer if you're from outside Glasgow? Yeah. Fantastic. Can you give me a cheer if you're from another planet? Yeah. Oh, this one person. <laughs> Very shy person from another planet. I'm from Bridgeton in the east end of Glasgow. But you might notice from my accent, I'm not exactly from Bridgeton. <laughs> it's very interesting coming from Bridgeton and being English. <laughs> I can't go to a pub because people think I'm a policeman. <laughs> or a priest. <laughs> I'm doing a service to the local community by taking confessions in the corner of the pub. <laughs> and then taking people off to prison. <laughs> um, I've got a little Jack Russell taking for a walk in the park every day. Uh, do you guys know of or have seen the film called The Angel's Share? Yeah. yeah. One or two of you? Yeah, so I was very excited when that came out. You know, uh, Paul Brannigan was in it. It's ran for my way, ran, ran, ran my way. And uh, I was having a chat with the local dog walker about The Angel's Share. And he said, oh, that's got Paul Brannigan in it, isn't it? And I said, yeah. And he went, oh, he stabbed me, what? <laughs> But it's nice to see he's doing okay. <laughs> yeah, Give me a script and style, it's great. So, uh, yeah, so I uh, graduated with a master's recently. <laughs> Thank you. In biblical interpretation. <laughs> That's the norm of the action. <laughs> Don't worry, strap in the knob, job, knob joke's coming. <laughs> yes. so, um, so I got to learn some interesting words in my master's in biblical interpretation. One word is perichoesis. Perichoesis, yes, fancy word, thank you, yes. So, perichoesis describes the relationship between Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as being like, like an indwelling, uh, kind of like love, joy, peace, so that's, that's quite nice, isn't it? So, in a theological dictionary, it's described as interpenetration of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <laughs> Where one is penetrated by the other two, <laughs> and he penetrates the other two as well. Kind <laughs> um, of like a holy three sometimes. <laughs> so yes, you're probably all familiar with the story of Egypt being in slavery and, and uh, no, not Egypt, Israel being in slavery in Egypt. And uh, Moses going to Pharaoh and saying, let my people go, and then Pharaoh lets them go, and they, they go out in the desert and Moses has the Ten Commandments and comes back down the mountain. And then Israel has a succession of kings that get gradually more and more evil until we get to King Ahab. So can I get a boom? Boom. boom. That's good boom. Yes. <laughs> so, yes. So King Ahab then marries a foreign princess from the land of Canaan called Jezebel, who worships the Canaanite storm and fertility god called Baal. And, uh, oh yes. <laughs> and uh, and uh, King Ahab starts worshipping Baal against the, the, the commandment, you'll have no other gods before me. So can I get another boo for her? Uh, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so there's a whole bunch of prophets of Yahweh that go up to King Ahab and says, uh, uh, you, 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 that's not right. And, um, and, uh, and Jezebel kills them all. So I get another boo for Jezebel. Yes, until there's one left, called Elijah. And he goes up to King Ahab and says, um, hey, you're not doing the right thing there, mate. <laughs> He's from London. <laughs> yeah, so uh, he calls King Ahab a troublemaker of Israel. And King Ahab turns around and says, oh, it's, not, it's not me that's the troublemaker of Israel, it's you that's the troublemaker of Israel. So they have a bit of an argument. So they decide to, decide to settle it at Mount Carmel, where there's two altars, one, one to Yahweh and one to, to, to Baal, with, with it's, it's kind of like um, a sacrifice going on with, with a couple of cows and lots of wood. Um, <laughs> so a bit like a ready, steady cook. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so so the competition is about praying to the gods, see if they do anything. So prophets of Baal are praying to Baal and nothing's happening. And Elijah said, maybe he's on holiday, maybe he's <laughs> <laughs> on the toilet. Pray hard, nothing. And uh, uh, Elijah prays to Yahweh, fire comes down and, 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 and lights, the, lights, the, lights the altar, cooks, 
Just a word from uh, the cow and, and the other bit of the plant. Barbecue. <laughs> yeah. So, and then Elijah kills all the prophets of Baal. So, can I get a cheer from Elijah? <laughs> yes, and Jezebel's not very happy with this. So, she says, uh, what's that? No, oh, okay. Je Jezebel's not very happy with this. So, she says, let me do the same to you, or may the gods do something worse to me. And um, to cut a long story short, Jezebel gets killed and eaten by dogs. <laughs> the Canaanite woman gets eaten by dogs. The, the, the Canaanite, you've got it. The Canaanite, Canaanite. That's a big one, isn't it? So, yes. so I spend a lot of time on my own. Um, And uh, yeah, there was research with the dog. Yeah. So I'm absolutely delighted when the Jehovah's Witnesses come. We, uh, we, we get to talk about theology. It's great. So uh, you may or may not know the difference between um, Jehovah's Witnesses and regular church go goers. Jehovah's Witnesses believe that Jesus uh, was God, uh, like God, but not God, and regular church goers believe Jesus was God and like God. And this goes all the way back to the Council of Nicaea. Uh, 325, 325. So, no, no, all right, okay, so, um, so uh, there was two theologians around the time. There was St. Nicholas, so he was the original Santa Claus. People, people believe, uh, <laughs> that is true. Uh, the, people would leave their shoes out, you would, would put money in it, so original secret Santa. So, yeah, so he was a theologian, and so was Arius. Santa Claus believed that. Um, uh, Jesus was God and like God, like God and God, and Arius believed that uh, Jesus was like God but not God. So um, um, Santa Claus punched Arius, they had an argument, and he got kicked out of the Council of Nicaea. So um, there's two Greek words that come out of that, that's homoousis and homoousis, one meaning of similar substance and, and one of same substance to, to determine the difference between the two ideas. Uh, the, two, the difference between the two words is the, 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 the Greek letter I, iota, where the phrase it doesn't make one iota of a difference comes from, <laughs> because ironically it makes a huge difference as to Jesus, whether Jesus was just a man or God. So I was having this uh, interesting conversation with uh, the lovely Jehovah's Witnesses lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, I got to talk about perichoresis, interpenetration. <laughs> and, uh, uh, she thanked me very much for the conversation, but I haven't seen anything of her since. <laughs> so, uh, I thank you for listening. You've been a lovely audience. You've got a great rest of the evening ahead of you. So, cheers, enjoy.